The figures of speech that you must know. Figures of speech is a word or phrase that possesses a separate meaning from its literal definition. In this video, we will discuss 15 figures of speech, namely alliteration, assonance, anaphora, euphemism, hyperbole, irony, litotis, metaphor, onomatopoeia, oxymoron, paradox, personification, simile, synecdoche, and understatement. The first one is alliteration. It is a repetition of the beginning sounds of neighboring words. Example, she sells seashells in the seashores. In this sentence, letter S is the most repeated sound. Next is assonance. It is a repetition of vowel sounds in words that are close together. Example, for the rare and radiant maiden whom the angels named Leonore. In this example, letter A is the most repeated vowel. Next, anaphora. Anaphora is a technique where several phrases or verses begin with the same word or words. Example is the famous line of Julius Caesar, I came, I saw, I conquered. In this example, I is repeated thrice. Another example is from the tale of two cities by Charles Dickens. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom. It was the age of foolishness. In this example, it was the is repeated for four times. Euphemism Euphemism is a mild, indirect, or vague term that often substitutes a harsh, blunt, or offensive term. Examples Instead of saying, you are going bald, you can say, you are having a little thin on top. Another example Instead of saying, he died last week, you can say, he passed away last week. Hyperbole Hyperbole, or in some books referred as hyperbole, is a figure of speech that uses exaggeration for emphasis or effect. Examples are, I've told you to stop a thousand times. I will love you forever. I will cry a thousand river. Irony Irony occurs when there is a marked contrast between what is said and what is meant, or between appearance and reality. Examples How nice! She said when I told her I had to work all weekend. A traffic cop gets suspended for not paying his parking tickets. Next is litotis. Litotis occurs when a speaker attempts to avoid making an affirmative claim directly, but instead denies its opposite. Examples You are not unwelcome in my birthday party. Instead of directly saying, you are welcome in my birthday party. Another, he was not unfamiliar with the works of Dan Brown. Instead of saying, he is well acquainted with the works of Dan Brown. Metaphor Metaphor makes a comparison between two unlike things or ideas. Examples 
She has a heart of stone. A heart is being compared to a stone. The world is a stage of war. The world is being compared to a stage. And the third example, she's a night owl. She is being compared to a night owl. Onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia, or sometimes called as echoic words, are the term for a word that sounds like what it is describing. Example, screeching tires could be heard from the highway. In this example, the word screeching makes the readers imagine the sharp sound from a vehicle that suddenly stopped. Oxymoron Oxymoron is a two contradictory terms used together. Examples She was reminded of her bittersweet memories. The sweet sorrow was all she had when she lost her husband. Paradox Paradox is a statement, proposition, or situation that seems illogical or self-contradictory, but which upon further scrutiny may be logical or true. Examples This is the beginning of an end. I know one thing, it's that I know nothing. Here are the rules. Ignore all rules. Personification It gives human qualities to non-living things or ideas. Examples The flowers nodded. The roaring thunder scared the kids. The wind whistles around. Simile it is a comparison between two unlike things using the word like or as. Examples As slippery as an eel. He eats like a pig. As wise as an owl. Synecdoche It occurs when a part is represented by the whole or conversely, the whole is represented by the part. Example, the president's administration contained the best brains in the country. Brains represents the intelligent people in the country. The last one is the understatement. It occurs when something is said to make something appear less important or less serious. Example, never mind, it's just a scratch. <laughs>